Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. So at the college makerspace that I run, I put together these workshops where I train and certify students on how to use the 3D printers, laser cutter, and other tools. Now with 3D printing, this can be a bit challenging because of the time it takes to print parts. So I try to think of models that can be printed in a short amount of time because I would like everyone to be able to leave with something that they made. Since St. Patrick's Day is around the corner, I decided that a perfect project would be these 3D printed shamrock earrings. Now, if earrings are not your thing, then we'll call them keychains. The great thing with this design is that it prints in five minutes. Plus, most of my students at the Makerspace tend to be engineering and architectural students. So I hope that designs like this will bring in students from other disciplines, such as art and design, and show them that the tools we have can really be used for any creative application. Also, if you're trying to convince your wife that you need a 3D printer or a second one or a third one, making her some jewelry can't hurt as a persuasive technique. All right, let me show you how I designed these in Fusion 360 and hopefully teach you a tip or two along the way. I'll begin by bringing in a hand sketch of the shamrock that I made. So we'll go to insert and down to attached canvas. My face is going to be my XY plane, so I'll select that and then I'll click on select image and find my drawing here, double click to bring it in, click OK and then I'll go to a top view here and let's zoom in. So there's my hand sketch I made, so you can see nothing fancy there. The first thing we're going to need to do is calibrate it, so we'll expand our canvas here, right click, go to calibrate. And I know I want this to have a height of 30 millimeters, so I'm going to click on a bottom and a top point. Fusion is telling me it brought it in as 10.8 millimeters. I'm just going to write 30 or enter 30, hit enter, and let's zoom out. Okay, now I'm going to take my spline tool and just trace around one of these pedals here. So I'll create a sketch on this same XY plane. So I'm sketching just right on top of my existing shamrock there. And I'll grab my spline tool and I'll just zoom in a bit and I'll just drop a few points here. Uh, basically just drop in a point wherever there's a major direction change. With the spline tool, less is always more, so you don't really want to add more points than you need. Okay, now that I have my points here, I'm just going to tweak these by uh, moving them around and I'm not going to go too crazy. You know, this is a shamrock. It's something found in nature. So both of these sides don't have to be symmetric. I'll actually maybe move this out a little bit. I don't need to follow my exact sketch. It could just be sort of a reference to go with. Okay, I'm happy with that. So next I'm going to draw a circle in the middle here and I just want to make sure that the edge of my circle overlaps these two little handles here and I'll hit escape and now I'm going to take that circle and hit X to make it a construction line and then I'm going to go to create and grab my circular pattern tool and I want to pattern this one paddle here so let me zoom out a bit and I'm going to untoggle canvas so we can see what's going on here here's my box uh, dialog box for my circular pattern so actually it's showing me I have two objects selected for objects that's not what I want so let's cross that out and remake our selection I'll select the pedal here and then for my uh, center point I'm just going to select my circle. It gives me three as the quantity for default which is the exact number that I want but it's not the spacing that I want. So here's the first tip I'll give you. I'm going to change quantity to four. Uh, and I don't really want this extra pedal here because this is where I actually want to make the stem. So I'm just going to click on this little check mark here to suppress it and that takes it away. So it shows me that I have four with one suppressed and that's what I want so I'll click OK. All right next we'll zoom in and I'm going to grab these little handles and just move them in a bit and you can see that since it's a pattern all the other ones will move. Let me move this up a bit and then we're going to grab our spline tool again. And I'm just going to continue from this handle here and make that stem. Click the check mark and I'll do the same thing for this one. I'll just end it just a little bit above and then I'll grab my line tool to connect these points here. Hit escape, maybe move this up a bit. And you see this abrupt change here between this spline line and this other line here. I'm going to choose my tangent constraint and click on both of those lines. You want to be careful here and not choose a handle 
you want to actually choose the line and that'll make that change more gradual and I'll do the same thing for this one it makes it tangent so uh, now you, you don't see that there's such an abruptness in the direction so I'll tweak this maybe a little more but I'm happy with the way that looks so I'm gonna hit stop sketch and then grab my profile here E for extrude or we can go to create extrude and I'm gonna extrude this just three millimeters and then click OK all right now I need a little uh, circle here or a hole to be able to uh, hang this whether I'm gonna make it a necklace or an earring or a keychain um, I'll still need a little hole there so I'm gonna create a sketch on this surface and then put a circle there of two millimeters in diameter and move this into place I don't want to make it too close because then I won't have a thick enough wall there so I'm gonna bring it down a bit that looks good stop the sketch and then I'll just extrude that hole through change my distance to wall click OK and there's my shamrock a few little changes I want to make I'm gonna fill it this edge here let's move here so this that inner edge so that one in this one there um, just to give it a little radius uh, let's see a one millimeter fillet is too big so let's go 0 0.5 uh, that looks good there and you know what we'll also fill it the bottom edges here so I'm gonna hit control and select those as well click OK and let's also fill it the top surface here let's try a one millimeter there that looks good and I'll click OK now remember if you're not happy with this shape you can take advantage of the parametric aspect of Fusion 360 so we can go back to that original sketch and edit it and let's say I want these petals to be more shaped like a heart well what I can do is just go ahead and tweak these spline points maybe bring this in a bit and just make it maybe a little more symmetric here and then I can click on stop sketch and I'll notice that it'll have updated my model here you do see a problem though my hole here is way too close to the top since I moved those uh, petals inward so I'll have to go back to that second sketch and just take that circle and drag it back in a bit maybe somewhere around here I'll click stop sketch and that now updates as well so all right there's my shamrock actually there's one more thing that's bothering me I think this fillet here ended up being just a little too big so I'm gonna double click on that fillet feature and change that radius from 0 0.5 let's bring it down to 0 0.2 and I think that's yeah that looks better all right that's it all right guys if you have any questions on what I did here just leave it on the comments below and as always like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next week